So here's how to add clickable links to Canva. It's very easy to do, and I imagine if you're watching this tutorial, you probably already have Canva. I will leave my link in the description in case you are just watching this and haven't gotten to test out Canva, or you just want easier login access. Let's begin. So two ways of doing this. First and foremost, if you're on a document, I just wanted to make sure you know this way, very easy. We're gonna be highlighting it here and just simply clicking on the link here. And for example, I'm just gonna add in my full website here and I clicked on done. So you'll notice it now makes a link and if we wanted to go to it, we can click on it, right? So that's gonna be one thing in documents, shouldn't be too difficult to figure out. It's kinda of like if you were using a Word document, right? Now here's the important part. For example, I have a newsletter, maybe you're doing a presentation or something similar. Here's how you can add a link here, but more importantly, where if you save the document, someone can actually click on it because there is gonna be a big difference there. So. In this example newsletter, what I did a separate tutorial for recently, let's say I wanted to just highlight Marketing Island, and once again, I wanna link that to my website. So I'm gonna highlight the text, and if you'll notice, after highlighting it, we have this link right here that comes up. Let's click on this. And once again, I'm just gonna paste in my URL, and I'm gonna click on Done. Okay, and done again, sure. So when we click off, now there is something here I also wanted to bring up. You'll notice that it's black and it's underlined. It's underlined, that's a good thing, but we could certainly change this because if someone was reading this, they might not know that it's a link. They just thought, hey, maybe they underlined their website. So what I wanna do now is just highlight the same thing we did right here. And what I wanna do is change around the color. So I'm gonna go to text color. And then what I wanna do is get blue. All right, so I'm gonna go into document colors here. I'm actually gonna paste it in because I already have it. So, you know, zero, 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 FF, and uh, that's gonna be good like that, okay? And just like that, we now have Marketing Island. So it actually looks like a link, right? If you saw that, usually links are blue, they're underlined. And one more thing in case you wanna make it pop a little bit more, I'm gonna highlight it and we can bold it, okay? So I think that looks the best there. Like. No mistaking, that's a link. Okay, so here's the important part. Let's say we wanna save this, we can go to share. And what we wanna do is go to download. And now here is what I don't recommend. If you want this to be a clickable link, don't use PNG, even though it is suggesting it. Instead, what you wanna do is a PDF standard where this is gonna be the ability for someone to open it up and from there they can click on this and go to whatever website it's gonna be directing to. In this example, it's gonna be mine. So I'm gonna click on download here so I can show you. All right, and so here we are, it's in a PDF format and if we look at it, we can hover over it and now if you look at the bottom left, it says marketing aisle, I can just open this up in a new tab. And there it is. So that's the tutorial when it comes to adding clickable links to Canva. It's very easy to do in a document setting, just like you're using, say, OpenOffice or Word. But when it comes to presentations, make sure you save it as a PDF. That will allow you to, or anyone else, click on the link and open it up in a new tab or window. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And if this tutorial helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up as it helps me out a lot as well. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.